So first we need to start by understanding what a contact is. In fusion simulation, it's how load is transferred between different elements or bodies. In order for the load to be transferred, the nodes must be connected. An example of this would be two parts that start out touching in a simulation, but need to be able to come apart. A separation contact type is used that allows the bodies to slide and pull apart from one another. So let's talk about the six different types of contacts allowed in Fusion 360. First, we have a bonded type. Now the bonded type are where two bodies are perfectly bonded together where they meet, with no relative movement allowed throughout the analysis. In addition, we also have an offset bonded type. This contact allows you to bond together bodies that are not touching each other. We have a separation type, and in this case, contact bodies cannot penetrate each other, but they can partially or fully separate from one another. You can also add a coefficient of static friction. Next, we have a sliding type contact. Now this is where contact bodies cannot penetrate or separate from each other. However, the surfaces can freely slide together in a face tangential direction relative to one another. Next, we have rough and free contacts. A rough contact is where bodies cannot penetrate each other, but they can partially or fully separate from one another. However, while in contact, they cannot slide relative to each other. This is similar to a separation contact with an extremely high coefficient of static friction. And lastly, we have a free contact type. This is where the contact prevents interaction between the selected entities. So when we're applying contacts in Fusion 360, we have two main options, automatic contacts and manual contacts. With automatic, contact sets are generated automatically based on the default contact type, which is bonded, and the default parameters. You can edit automatic contacts at any time after they're created. If you choose to apply manual contacts, you can define these sets manually for entities that are selected. You can edit, suppress, or delete the manual contacts after they're created.